Let's take a look at some of the biggest deals of the waiver trade season over the last decade, starting with the deal in 2013. The Pirates received Marlon Byrd and John Buck from the Mets in return for Dilson Herrera and Vic Black. They also brought in Justin Morneau from the Twins in exchange for Alex Presley and Duke Walker. While all three were rentals, they were veterans having strong seasons who brought depth and helped the Pirates qualify for the postseason for the first time since 1992. And they also went on to win the wildcard game to earn their first October victory since Game 6 of the 1992 NLCS. The next trade happened in 2008, when the Pirates were having a down season and dealt a 27-year-old journeyman to the Blue Jays in return for a player to be named later, which was named as Robinson Diaz soon after. That journeyman, though, happened to be Jose Bautista, who went on to hit 288 home runs over a 10-year span in Toronto and became a beloved icon in the city by helping deliver a 2015 AL East title, Toronto's first since 1993, and back-to-back -back ALCS appearances in 2015 and 2016. The next best trade happened in 2011. The Tigers received Delman Young from the Twins in return for a pair of minor leaguers. Young was the first overall MLB draft pick in 2003 and the AL Rookie of the Year runner-up in 2007, but hadn't quite lived up to his number one pick pedigree. However, he turned out to be a perfect pickup in that trade. He hit 316 with three home runs and an epic five-game ALDS win over the Yankees in 2011, and in 2012, he hit 313 with three homers while leading Detroit to the World Series, earning himself ALCS MVP honors. His nine total postseason home runs in Detroit is an all-time Tigers record. In 2012, one of the biggest August deals went down. The last place Red Sox sent Adrian Gonzalez, Josh Beckett, Carl Crawford, and Nick Punto to the Dodgers for James Loney, Ivan De Jesus, Alan Webster, and two players to be named, which turned out to be Ruby De La Rosa and Jerry Sands. This nine-player deal was a splash for both sides as Boston cleared space on their payroll and the Dodgers got a handful of players to help rebuild the dynasty. And the top post-deadline deal over the last decade goes to one that was made in 2017. In the final minutes of August 31st, the Tigers sent Justin Verlander, a player to be named in cash to the Houston Astros, for three minor leaguers, including former Top 100 prospect Daz Cameron and current Top 100 prospect Franklin Perez. Verlander went on to go 5-0 with a 1.06 ERA down the stretch. Then in the postseason, he went 4-1 with a 2.21 ERA to help the Astros win their first ever World Series. As of August 5th of 2018, he ranks top three in the American League in ERA, whip, strikeouts, and innings pitched. There you have it. What are your thoughts on these trades and did we miss anybody? Let us know in the comments below.